In the past, tired jokes often portrayed Indian professionals in a limited light, usually in call centers. But that stereotype is fading fast. In the C-suites of Fortune 500 companies, Indian origin leaders are making a remarkable mark, shattering the glass ceiling, improving talent transcends borders. Among these pioneers is Arvind Krishna, whose journey from Kanpur, India, to the helm of IBM is a testament to that. His story is an inspiration, a powerful narrative of perseverance, innovation, and strategic vision that has transformed not only his career, but also an entire tech giant. In this video, we'll highlight the pivotal moments and visionary decisions that have defined Krishna's leadership and driven IBM's success. Arvind Krishna's journey to the top of IBM began with humble beginnings. Born into a middle-class family in Andhra Pradesh, India, Krishna was instilled with the values of hard work, education, and perseverance by his parents. His father, Major General Venkata Krishna, was a respected officer in the Indian Army, and his mother, Anjana Krishna, was a school teacher. His parents encouraged their son to pursue his academic interests with passion and dedication. Krishna excelled academically, earning a B.Tech degree in electrical engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, in 1985. His exceptional performance and keen interest in technology led him to the United States, where he pursued a PhD in electrical engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, graduating in 1991. During his doctoral studies, Krishna focused on innovative research, co-authoring numerous patents and publishing extensively in technical journals. These early achievements laid a solid foundation for his future career, showcasing his intellect, dedication, and potential as a future leader in technology. From 1990 to 2009, Krishna held the position of Director of Internet Infrastructure and Computing Utilities Research at IBM's Research Center. He played a pivotal role in defining the core elements that form the foundation of IBM's internet infrastructure, including protocols, networking, and distributed systems. Additionally, Krishna spearheaded advancements in utility computing models, a revolutionary approach that envisioned delivering computing resources as a service, similar to utilities like electricity. This forward-thinking vision aimed to revolutionize how businesses accessed and utilized computing power. As Vice President of Provisioning and Security Development for Tivoli Software, Arvind Krishna assumed a leadership role in securing IBM's software landscape. He established the technical direction for security and identity solutions, ensuring robust access control measures were in place. Furthermore, Krishna guided the development of security products within Tivoli Software. These products address critical security challenges, fortifying the overall security posture of IBM's software offerings. His strategic vision continues to influence IBM's approach to security and software development to this day. Arvind Krishna's leadership as General Manager of Information Management Software in 2009 solidified his reputation as a software mastermind. He steered the development and deployment of impactful solutions like data warehousing and content management tools that address critical business needs within the information management domain. His contributions were instrumental in propelling IBM's success in the software industry. In 2013, Krishna's talents were leveraged for a new challenge, General Manager of Development and Manufacturing for the Systems and Technology Group. Here, he demonstrated his prowess in leading complex technological initiatives like server development and manufacturing, while fostering operational efficiency. His focus on excellence and continuous improvement during this period laid the groundwork for future successes within the group. From 2015 to 2019, Krishna's dual role as Senior Vice President of Hybrid Cloud and Director of IBM Research showcased his commitment to both cutting-edge technology and scientific exploration. He spearheaded IBM's research initiatives in areas like artificial intelligence and quantum computing, while also expanding its hybrid cloud offerings, which combine on-premises and cloud-based computing resources. Krishna's unwavering dedication to innovation continues to be a driving force behind IBM's success, fostering a company culture 
that thrives on exploration and discovery. In 2016, Wired Magazine named Krishna as one of 25 geniuses who are creating the future of business. His groundbreaking work centered around blockchain technology, which serves as the backbone of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. But what exactly is blockchain? Think of it as a digital ledger distributed across multiple computers, nodes. Instead of being stored in one central place, data is divided into blocks, linked together to form a secure chain. Each block contains transactions, and once added, it's cryptographically sealed, tamper-proof and transparent. So when someone sends cryptocurrency, it becomes part of this unalterable chain, accessible to all nodes. Krishna's ability to envision and create the future serves as a powerful reminder of the impact one can have through creativity and forward thinking. In 2019, Arvind Krishna received the Distinguished Alumnus Award from the Indian Institute of Technology. This prestigious honor celebrates his exceptional contributions to technology and business. Krishna's impact extends far beyond IBM. He serves as an inspiration for aspiring technologists and leaders worldwide. During his acceptance speech, Krishna emphasized the value of lifelong learning. He shared how curiosity, resilience, and a hunger for knowledge fueled his remarkable trajectory. His words resonate with the idea that success is not a fixed destination, but a continuous process of growth and exploration. One of the defining moments in Krishna's career was his role as the principal architect of IBM's acquisition of Red Hat in 2019. This $34 billion deal, the largest software acquisition in history, was a game changer for IBM. The acquisition positioned IBM as a leader in the hybrid cloud market, providing clients with the unique ability to build mission-critical applications once and run them anywhere. This strategic move exemplifies Krishna's visionary approach to growth and innovation, inspiring leaders to think boldly and act decisively. In April 2020, Arvind Krishna was appointed as the Chief Executive Officer of IBM, marking the beginning of a new era for the company. Cloud and cognitive software uh, business, that's Arvind uh, Krishna, uh, who's also seen as uh, quite- He succeeded Guinea Rometty, who expressed confidence in Krishna's abilities, calling him the right CEO for the next era. His appointment brought a renewed focus on cloud computing, AI, and quantum computing. Krishna's leadership style, characterized by a deep understanding of technology and market trends, set the stage for IBM's resurgence in these key areas. His journey from a young graduate student at IBM's Thomas J. Watson Research Center to becoming the company's CEO is a powerful narrative of perseverance, vision, and impact. Krishna's impact on the tech industry was widely recognized in 2021 when he was named the most influential executive of the year by CRN. When asked about this honor, Krishna passionately expressed his deep connection to IBM, stating, I bleed blue. His unwavering dedication to the company, its people, and cutting-edge technology has been instrumental in IBM's resurgence, particularly in areas like hybrid cloud and AI. In 2021, Krishna was appointed chairman of IBM, further solidifying his influence over the company's strategic direction. His leadership during this period has been instrumental in navigating IBM through technological transformations and market expansions. Krishna's ability to inspire and lead by example has been a driving force behind IBM's continued success. One of the most notable highlights of 2023 under Krishna's leadership was the launch of IBM Quantum System 2 on December 4th, 2023. This new quantum computing platform represents a major advancement in IBM's quantum computing capabilities and is part of their roadmap towards quantum-centric supercomputing. This isn't your everyday computer. Imagine trying to find the fastest route through a massive city. A regular computer would check each street one by one. The new IBM system, however, harnesses the power of qubits which can explore all streets simultaneously. This allows it to tackle problems much faster than ever before. This breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize fields like medicine by helping design new drugs faster, 
or finance by uncovering hidden patterns in complex data, or even logistics by optimizing delivery routes across the globe. Under Krishna's leadership, IBM has reported strong financial results, including sustainable revenue growth and robust free cash flow generation. These financial achievements reflect the company's strategic focus and operational efficiency. Reflecting his successful leadership, Krishna's compensation saw a significant increase with his total earnings reaching 20 million in 2023. This recognition underscores his pivotal role in IBM's ongoing success. Krishna's journey from a young engineer in Kanpur to the CEO of IBM is a glimpse of the American dream in action. His story is an inspiration to aspiring technologists and leaders, demonstrating that with passion and perseverance, one can achieve the greatest milestones, no matter the starting line. His legacy at IBM is not just a story of personal success, but a powerful narrative of how one individual's vision and leadership can transform an entire company and inspire future generations to dream big and strive for excellence.